Here is lesson 19. We will play number 46 and learn all about eighth notes. You have already looked at the top of your book. You have already read through eighth notes and how they work. And we're just going to do a quick little reminder. Four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Actually, I'm going to do this quieter so you can hear me count while we do it. Four quarter notes is one, two, three, four. Keep that beat the same. One, two, three, four. Make sure you're tapping your toe inside your shoe. Make sure you're counting in your head or out loud is okay right now. But to play eighth notes, you're going to play two notes per number. Think about that real quick. We just did one, two, three, four. That's one note per number. We're going to do two now. One, two, three, four. See that? I got two notes in each number. One, two, three, four. That's eighth notes. Now we count eighth notes with the number we're playing and then the word and. So for instance, I would count a measure of eighth notes like this. One and, two and, three and, four and. Okay, do that with me. One, two, ready, go. One and, two and, three and, four and. Okay? Now that you know that, look at Jim Along Josie, number 46. We have one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. If you are keeping your numbers steady in your head, it will work out nicely. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. You notice there's no sticking. But if you look up at number 45, that's the sticking you could use. Or you could reverse all of it. Left. Or there's a third sticking you can use. Remember, when it comes to making up your stickings, do what works. Okay? They have you doing one hand twice. If you look at beat four and then beat one in the next measure, there's two rights. You can do that. Right, left, right, left, right, right. You can do that. Or you can just alternate every time. Right, left, right, left, right. Or you can do left, right, left, right, left, left. You can do two lefts. Any of those three will work. It is just up to you to figure out what works best for you. All right, let's play. Oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Before we get to number 46, let's talk about our code word. Our code word is practice. Have you been practicing outside of these videos? Do you do just these videos? and nothing else. If you do, you're probably noticing by now that you're having some trouble reading rhythms, reading notes, and being able to keep up with how fast I'm going through these exercises. But if you practice, and you practice correctly, these exercises will seem slow to you. It will seem like I'm going too slow and that we need to go faster. That is the feeling I want you to have, and you will have that feeling if you practice regularly like we've talked about, five days a week minimum. All right, here we go, 46. And one, two, ready, and. All right, did you get the repeat? If you did, good. Did you get your sticking correct? Was there some time when you had to do this to try to figure out where your sticking was? If it was, you need to go back and practice it again because you should be alternating every single stick. All right, that was lesson 19. Thank you for joining me.